chats today we're back on fs 22 still gonna be rocking the same mod loadout that we had previously again it's not much uh, but that is very intentional in case we open this up to multiplayer going on you know further further down the line i want to make sure that that it's going to be possible for other people to join even if it's on xbox or playstation 5 but today we're going to pick up exactly where we left off last time where hopefully we're going to make enough money to maybe change crops today, um, maybe buy some different equipment. We'll see. Time will tell. Uh, but we were we were very, very busy last stream. And like I said in the intro, I have been looking forward to streaming this again with you guys today all morning. I, my brain is just, it's rotting from the inside out, dude. I've been editing all morning. So this this has been something that's that's been on my mind. Anywho, let me try to pick up where we left off. So we had all of our equipment just kind of stowed away. We had... Let me see here. How do we find our, like, bin inventory? You know what I'm saying? It's got to be in here somewhere, right? Yeah, there we go. So we have 7,000 liters? I don't know what the measurement is on that. We're going to say bushels. We have 7,000 bushels of canola. So we're really doing pretty dang good. But we don't want to be selling that until when exactly? I don't even remember how to find that information now. Oh, it's it's on the same screen. Go figure. Wait, we got to... Where are we at now? We're in July. We are in July. And the best time for us to sell is probably going to be November. Uh, upwards of 2000 per bushel, which would be very, very good for us right now. We currently only have $25,000, but let's figure out what our next crop is going to be. Uh, or if we can even start planting just yet. It's going to be canola again, isn't it? Yep, we can start planting that tomorrow morning. That's cool. We can just double up on canola for right now. Um, but this time with this plant, I think we're going to disable rocks because that's kind of a bit of annoyance and annoyance. Uh, and I think we're also going to disable the need for rolling. To be real, I've never actually seen anyone, at least where, where I'm from, roll in their fields. Uncle T, maybe you can comment on that briefly, but I don't know that that's so much of a thing here. Maybe in like really, really rare circumstances or, or certain circumstances. Uh, I've already lost my train of thought. What the heck was I doing? We were going to disable the stuff. <laughs> That's what we were going to do. And that is going to be in here. Crop destruction. We will leave that on because that's, that's realism, baby. Fieldstone, we're going to turn off. Weeds, we're going to leave on. Uh, and then where was rolling? I thought we could disable rolling in here too. Theoretic plowing required. That's not it. Is my brain broken? I swear it was in there. Maybe it's in this one. Switch to trains is on. Am I miss am I missing something here? Turn dirt off. You don't want to see you don't want to see the dirt on the machinery? That's the best part, man. That's the best part. I wish disable rocks was an option when I was little. My dad's version of that was to tell us to go pick up all the rocks in the field. <laughs> I can I can imagine a young Uncle T and uh, and my father out there with little wicker baskets just picking up rocks. <laughs> just having the time of their lives. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, I think the plow generates the medium-sized field stones. That's when I turned it off. It's very annoying. Yeah. See, field stones, we're just, we're just going to leave that off. Because every time we cultivate or plow, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen some more. But I swear we could disable the, the need for rolling. 
Is that not a thing now? I probably just missed it. Let me, sorry chat. Let me just take a minute here and try to figure this out. No, definitely not in there. Definitely not in there. Brother, I know it's an option. I know it's an option. Panopolis, someone who I know has, has played this quite a bit. Uh, I don't think rolling can be disabled. It's just an extra thing that you can do if you want to get a little bit of extra yield. Okay, so it's not necessary. That's all I really care about. So long as it's not necessary, then that's that's totally fine. Do we need to plow right now, though? Keep doing that. We have periodic plowing required, yeah? I'm being a real settings Andy at the moment, but... No, it is disabled. Okay. Cool. Good, because we don't have a plow. So that that works. Alright, enough settings. Let's just let's just get to the game. Let's just get to the dang game. We're gonna start as early as we can, 5 a.m. <clears throat> F-Man said, wasn't there supposed to be an episode of House Flipper IRL yesterday? Yes. There was, but I couldn't do it because the kitchen's not done and that's kind of part three is having a finished, uh, or at least almost finished kitchen. So we're just not there yet. We're just not there yet. Hopefully, hopefully you understand, but we'll get there. All right, don't you worry. Let's go with the 4755. How do we get lights on again? Can we get lights on? Uh, I thought we could. Isn't it G to select the tool? Oh, it's F? Has it always been F? I mean, that's fine. Or wait, no, this thing's got not going to have enough power. It's actually not going to have enough power. Because for the for the sewing machine, we're gonna need a little bit of extra juice. It's gotta be this one. And then how do we hide that? Wasn't it like F1? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna try it for a little bit without our our help up there. Hopefully I don't regret that. I started to get really comfortable with it though last stream, so we'll see. We still got canola in here, yeah? Okay, good deal. After planting, do we have to, or after harvesting? Hmm, trying to think here. We might actually want to hit this with lime first. Maybe. Oops. I keep thinking Tab's going to bring this menu up, but it just doesn't do that. So, back to sat view here. We have our three fields, 44, 45, and 46. It's looking like pH is still aight. It's not in the red. It's not in the red, but nitrogen is. So, and yeah, our yield is... Could be better. We want to see this in the green. You know, we're trying to we're trying to get out of the yellows, the orangies, and more into the green. Preferably like almost blue with 125% yield, but it's gonna take time. So let's focus on nitrogen first. We got a little bit of money left. 
Oh my god. Crusader taken off. Godspeed. Godspeed, sir. J Dub, welcome back. You are joining at the perfect time. We're we're actually just getting it rolling, really. Pretty much the perfect time. Okay, so for spraying nitrogen. I believe we're going to need a sprayer for that. Right? We're not going to be able to buy a sprayer, but we could lease one. This is just a tank, as we talked about last time. This one would work. What's it going to cost us? We don't even have a big field, though. That's a 24 meter working width. And this is a 24 to 28. So really, it's about the same. This isn't going to hold as much. But that's all right. Oh, but you could get an additional tank. I see. Let's just do this first. Configuration, give us a license plate. That's cool. And then we're going to try to lease this for 1700 bucks. That's I. Okay, and then now that we have that, we should... I think it's sold by the pallet, right? That's liquid fertilizer, herbicide, which we do also need, probably. Wait, what? I thought nitrogen... I thought we bought nitrogen from this. Huh? The cheapest Amazon fertilizer spreader is the best one to get early on. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, but the Amazon one doesn't spray, right? Oh, okay. So we couldn't use herbicide with that, nor could we use nitrogen. Which isn't nitrogen just liquid fertilizer? I think that's right. Mineral feed. Some of this stuff I've never seen before, and I know it's not a mod, so it must have been added after the fact. Top liquid fertilizer. Huh. Okay. Well, maybe we have to go bags because we don't have uh, a forklift or forks. We don't even have a tractor that has a front loader, dude. Oh, and they're going to make us decide on a brand? All right, chat. What brand? Cortiva or Helm? Cortiva or Helm? We're going to need one of those at the very least. There's liquid or pellet fertilizer and lime. Gotcha. Cortiva? Okay. Cortiva it is. <laughs> Uncle T said Helm now. Oh, man, I'm so torn. Okay, there are more Helm votes than uh, than Cortiva, so. Let's do that. This we just have to straight up buy. There's no, there's no way you can lease something like that. Wait, I meant to... I meant to actually get the bags. Hopefully. Hopefully. We didn't just make a big financial mistake. We're going to find out pretty quick, though. Lime is only solid ore pellets. Gotcha. Thank you, Panopolis. Appreciate the help on that. Caden, I did not accept your Roblox friend request just yet. I have to, I have to be on Roblox to do that. Next time I'm on, though, don't you worry. That's the first thing I check every every login. So, it'll happen. <clears throat> How fast are we going right now? 20! 20. 20 miles per hour. We got traffic behind us? Yeah, my bad. 
here. Maybe I'll pull into the uh, the slow lane. Sorry. I actually do feel a little bad. God, I've just been looking forward to this all day, dude. All day. I forgot how fun this game can be. Not even running his flashers, oh god. See, now I, now I gotta try to remember how to turn them on. Uh, well, we don't even have any, do we? Hang on. F is just all lights. Uncle T's gonna be like, you know I was kidding, right? Like, it doesn't matter. I swear there's a way to do it, though. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, we don't even have, like, the beacons, though, to be able to turn on. Nope. Nothing's working. No, that was my brake light. <laughs> I got excited there for a second. Yeah, no flashers. Who needs them, though? Who needs them? Are you telling me I'm trying to connect to this from the wrong side? Yeah. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> I did that. All right, and then so long as we're close to this, we should be able to fill it up. It's just annoying now because it's we're not going to be able to move this uh, to the farm. It's just gonna it's just gonna stay here. Um, but let's try to refill this. There we are. It probably makes more sense to do lime. Dang it, dude. Yeah, it probably makes more sense to do lime than so. And then liquid fertilizer on top of that. Right? Whoops. Oh, it's already up. It looks low. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yikes. Oh, we got a Mexican restaurant here? Mi Familia, dude. It's probably pretty good. It's probably pretty good, man. No, I, I do have a home button, surprisingly. I wish I still had my 10 key, man. I miss it dearly. Uh, but this keyboard was so dang expensive. I'm not. I'm not gonna buy a new one. Not until this one gets some coffee spilled on it too. Yo, Mexican food always hits the spot. I had um, chicken flautas last night with some salsa verde. Mmm. Mmm. And some rice, of course. No frijoles though. I don't think I don't think Maria's actually made frijoles yet in the new house. Something to look forward to. We'll get there. Okay, we are going to commandeer this tractor. It's kind of small. Definitely doesn't have the horsepower that uh, that we're gonna need for for pulling a a lime spreader. But we're gonna try it, man. Does this one have beacons? Has it got bacon? No. No bacons on here. I, I swear you used to be able to turn on your hazards, though, at the very least, but... What do I know? 
Oh, this thing goes 24, dude. This is even faster than the deer. What the heck? That don't make no sense. Deer's the best. Uncle T. <laughs> what? What is happening? All right. Now we are going to need a big old bag of some limon. For those of you that don't know, limon or lime and lemon in Spanish is the same thing. <laughs> I don't know how they tell them apart. Yeah, let's just go with maybe one. One is 2000. Okay, let's let's buy the spreader first so we know how much we can actually fit. And Amazon one, yeah, that's cool. That'll work. I just, I always love having these big honkers, dude. That's a 42 meter spread. That's a 12. This is also a 42. It just doesn't hold as much. Oh, but you can't do limon in there. Ah, I see. That is a problem. That is a problem. We can only do limon with this one. Hmm. Let's customize it. Let's see what we can do. Oh, the big extension? It's too excessive. We don't need that. A uh, wheel brand, though. Con Michelin's. Gotta get the old Michelin's on there, dude. Six meter spreading unit. Does that increase our total spread? It does. But for an additional $8,000, I think we're okay. I don't think we need that. All right, that's going to be $2,200 to lease. Stuff's getting expensive, guys. Stuff is getting expensive. Now we can grab our limon. How much did that hold again? I wasn't paying attention. Miscellaneous? Oh, it'd be in leased items. Never mind. Oh, that holds 9000 Okay. So let's get maybe just two. How about three? Three's good. Three's a good number. Yep, 1300 bucks. Gotta do it. All right, let's get her hooked up. Again, hopefully she has the, uh, the horse puppies for that. That was close. That was close. <laughs> I'm just hitting everything already. All right, we should be close enough here, I would think, to get her filled up. It do be going in. It do be going in, though. Yeah, this is kind of slow. And three is a magic number. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. It's a magic number. Uh, School of Rock, right? Jack Black. Gotta be. Gotta be. See, I understand some references. I'm not that old. How are you? Dude, I need a I need a steering wheel, not for racing games, but just for this, so I can live more in the moment, you know? I wanna I wanna I wanna be able to just rest one hand on the top of the steering wheel and just lift one finger anytime I see someone. Yep. <laughs> I need that, man. I need that. Gavin said, hey 2J, I'm watching you on my TV and my laptop double timing, dude. I love it. Thank you so much for uh, for watching, Gavin. Good to have you here. Yep. <laughs> Jordan, welcome back. All right. So yeah, first step of this uh, next plant. I think we need to get our lime spread. So this thing, I'm gonna try again. Not to open that thing. I didn't look. I didn't look. I want to say it's X to unfold. Okay, I, I might have to look. <laughs> it's not X. Wait, we don't have to unfold it at all because we didn't get the extra 
uh, dealios. Okay. Automatic application rate, that is fine with me. I, I would probably overdo it, so. All right. Let's see how big the spread is. Probably not super great. Oh, it's better than I thought, though. Oh, we are going to go through this lime so fast. Or, sorry, limon. We're going to go through this limon so fast. But our field's already getting in the green now as far as the pH value goes, so that's great. Chat, we're going to open up this save to multiplayer. Okay, we are going to do it. We just have to kind of prepare, you know? We gotta we gotta send some messages in Discord, make sure make sure everyone can make it out on the same day and stuff. Thought I might have missed that little corner, but apparently not. Uncle T, look away. I know this ain't right, okay? Just just look up just turn a blind eye for me for a second. It's probably not the worst thing in the world, I guess. Your lines don't necessarily matter if you're just spreading line, especially cuz we're just going to sew over top of it anyway. Those lines need to be straight. This it's whatever. <laughs> uh Gavin, this is FS22. Farm Sim 2022. I should probably turn the spreader off when I turn around, too. to spot don't even don't even start don't even start Heinrich okay we only have 3,000 left we got to be able to finish this stretch Gavin, we've only been playing for about 30 minutes so far. Roughly about 15 minutes for our intro, just chit-chatting with chat. And then, uh, yeah, I would say I would say a good 30 minutes so far. Most of that time has just been me trying to figure out what the game plan is for today, which is something I should have done uh, prior to even starting the stream. But I was editing all morning. Heinrich, it's not going to let me get that spot, dude. I just tried. You saw it. You saw it firsthand. Uh, Mavericks Mainline. Hey, can't stop for long. Hope you're doing okay. And I'm getting Monbazoo on Sunday this week. Love your videos and keep up the amazing content. Absolutely, brother. Enjoy Monbazoo. You're going to like it. I know you're going to like it. Uh, Gavin, I was editing. Hang on. Let me turn around real quick. I was editing the next episode for Computer Repair Shop uh, tomorrow, for tomorrow. And, oh, it's not going to let me get that either. Bummer. And another one for Monday, for next week. Same game, Computer Repair Shop. Another one that I've been really enjoying, but it is starting to get stale. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to do other stuff in that game now, not just uh, repairing customer computers. We're starting to get into the shadier side of that business. And it's, it's been interesting so far. Bryce, what's going on, dude? I will read that in just a moan, Bryce. Just a moan. Hey, 2G. Hey, chat. Sorry I'm late, but I was taking a nap. Uh, but a nice way to wake up to my 2G stream. Keep up the awesome work, my friend. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for joining today, brother. Oh, dude, we can get a little bit of money now that we have field stones disabled. And we can sell off 
our uh, rock picker upper device. Don't need it anymore. I think I missed a little spot over here. There we go. Jordan said he's going to stay up to watch the entire stream. That's crazy. That's crazy. You're going to fight your sleep? I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be a difficult one to fight your sleep to, all right? We got lots of downtime here. Lots of downtime. Um, but you guys didn't seem to care in the, in the previous stream. You guys seemed to really enjoy it, so here we are for part two. Also, if you're watching back on uh, on 2G2, make sure to drop a like on the video. It would be super, super helpful. And if you're watching back live in real time, right here, right now, please do the same. It helps out. Oh, yeah, we rented this, didn't we? Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there then. Don't really matter. All right, cool. Let's move on over to, was this the one? Yeah, no, 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 no. We need to sow now. We need to sow next. Because this doesn't have fertilizer in it. So we're basically, um, we're fertilizing, fertilizing with lime to adjust the pH. And then we're gonna be sowing with no fertilizer. And then we're gonna be going over top of that sowing with liquid fertilizer. That's the plan anyways. Get this thing lowered down. Uh, X to start it. X to unfold. Very important. And then B to start it. Wait, what? It does have those? I swear we looked last time and that was not a thing. But I'm here for it. I mean, that'll definitely help. Wait a minute. It's actually not letting us do that because we need to cultivate. We gotta cultivate first. We didn't have a... We do have a cultivator. I'm just dumb. Okay, we will leave that. We will leave that here. JW go karting with the 499 pounds. Thank you so much. Uh, they say, hi, 2G. This is my first live stream with you. I can only stay about half an hour. So have a good day, man. JW, thank you so much for the super chat. I really, really appreciate that. Um, and thank you for joining for your first ever live, dude. That's, that's really sick. I know I don't do them often. So it doesn't necessarily surprise me that it's your first. Um, but thank you for, for choosing to watch your boy today. Brian will read that also, JW. Don't go anywhere. Our boy Brian's going to read that aloud for the class. Scared? Oh, yeah, there's no handbrake in this. Bummer. Here's Brian. Hi, Toggy. This is, is my first live stream with you. I can only stay for about half an hour, so have a good day, man. Smiley face. Toggy? <laughs> what? You would think Brian would know how to pronounce it by now. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Toggy. Yeah, Brian's usually a little late. Uh, but that's that's kind of what we get for streaming on YouTube. I hate to say it, but I don't think stuff like that happens on Twitch too often. It's usually like somebody does a chat or a, especially like a super chat like that. And it's, it's usually pretty immediate. Unfortunately, not here. But we, we work with it, you know, we roll with it. It's not so bad. Smiley face said with authority. 
Thank you again, JW, for the super chat. Very, very generous of you. This fence, dude, I want to move this fence or like shorten the field or something because it does make it a, a bit more challenging to turn around. I think it's the neighbors, though. We should just take it out anyways, right? Not even say anything to them about it and just do it. Heinrich said drive over it. I don't think that works. Uh, Maverick wants to know if I play Monbazu off camera and do you like MSC or Monbazu more? I like Monbazu more because it's less torturous to its player base. But I don't really play any games off camera anymore. Uh, after it after it became my, my full-time job, I kind of stopped playing games for, for my own personal enjoyment. But streaming has, has kind of solved that. Like, this is something that I wouldn't make a, a video series on, but it is still a game that I enjoy to play very much. So it's it's fun that we get to do this on stream um, rather than me trying to play it off camera or, uh, or just me not playing at all. That's what I really like streams for, and I think you guys like that as well. You get to see some stuff from your boy maybe that you, you wouldn't have been able to see otherwise. <laughs> Heinrich said I enjoy the darkness. It, the sun is rising, okay? The sun's coming back up. You better go hide, Heinrich. Don't you, like, burn up or something? No, I swear you, like, disintegrate or something. I think you've said that before. Heinrich will turn to stone if the sun touches him. How do you get the second BMW in Mamba Zoo? No one ever says how to. How did we get the second one? Uh, I'm pretty sure... Don't you just pick that one up from the junkyard? Uh, there is a wiki, Maverick, if, if you're curious. You can look up the wiki and pretty much all the information is, is there. It should be fairly up to date as well. Yeah, I don't remember how we got this. Like the, the, ratted, the ratted out one, right? I apologize. It's been it's been so long. Fade in gaming wants to know Mercedes or BMW. Maybe BMW. I don't know enough about Mercedes. I know they have some pretty sick uh, old school diesel engines, but I don't really know enough about them to like them over Bimmer. I don't know a lot about BMW either, but I, I know more about them than I do Mercedes. Long-winded way to say uh, BMW. F-Man, thanks for helping out Mavericks in chat. That's super cool to see. I appreciate that. I'm sure they do as well. Ford or Audi? That's easy. Audi. All day. Never been a Ford guy, though, so... I hate the chime. My dad's got a Bronco. I hate the I hate the Ford open door chime. It drives me bonkers. If I ever had to own a Ford, I would never buy one with my own money. If I ever had to have one though, for whatever reason, I'm trying to rip that out immediately. Dude, it is the mo it is so annoying. So annoying. It's the worst. It's the worst chime. Like, it might as well be a dang doorbell. Is that the chime that goes pong, pong, pong? I, I can't even describe it to you because it's going to infuriate me. 
It's, um... God, how does it go? It's like... Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Oh, it does it over and over and over again, and I hate it, dude. I hate it. It, it gives me the ick. It gives me the ick. Lamborghini or Ferrari? Lamborghini. Uh, Dodge or BMW? It's kind of a weird comparison. Probably BMW still. Yeah, JW's got it. Got it all spelled out. Oh, I, even just reading that, I hear it. <laughs> Do I like the RS6 wide body? Of course, dude. I like any wagon. Unless... Actually, no, the, the Dodge that kind of looks like a hearse. That still kind of goes hard. Uh, what do, do they call it? The Magnum, right? Yeah, pretty much any wagon, any hatchback, I'm going to be a fan of it. I don't know what it is. I just love those cars. McLaren or Lamborghini? Probably McLaren. Yeah. Maverick said, okay, now you're my top YouTuber. <laughs> that did it. That sealed the deal. Hey. That's pretty sick. Do you like Daihatsu? Oh yeah. I watched enough Mighty Car Mods in my years uh, to, to grow an appreciation for, for Daihatsu. Specifically their, you know, small little turd boxes that they have. Um, but as a hatchback and wagon enjoyer, I think that that's just a, a natural progression to kind of be uh, into those as well. Oh, did they finally get rid of the R8? I remember I used to work for Audi. I was a lot attendant for them. Nothing special, I promise you that. Um, but I remember there were some there were some talks behind closed doors about them potentially getting rid of the R8. I didn't think they'd actually do it. I mean, I know they don't sell too many of them, but I didn't think they'd just get rid of their only like. I don't even know what you would want to call that. It's not really a sports car. What would you what would you consider the R8 to be? Cuz their other cars would be sports cars or luxury cars. Yeah, I guess we could probably kill the lights now. It's definitely not a touring car. It's far too far too fast for that. Uh, is it a supercar? It's not a hypercar. It's too slow to be a hypercar. Maybe supercar? Yeah, I mean it was their only supercar model in their in their whole lineup. I'm just surprised that they would actually get rid of it like that. If what you're saying is true, again, I, I'm not going to fact check you. <clears throat> Maverick said Monbazoo, check. MSC, check. RS6, check. <laughs> all boxes ticked. All right. Hey, that's cool, man. I'm glad I tick all the boxes for you. <laughs> Yo, small cars are sick. And I mean that. Like, like the Daihatsu... Uh, Little little turd boxes, you know. They can be cool, and since they're so lightweight, they can actually be really fast if modified correctly. JW said, "Hey, Tucci, I know you're in America, and I'm in the UK, but I'm trying to find a car because I wrote." my last one off what do you recommend I love I love Volkswagen and Audis those that's my those are my two favorite car brands 100 percent 
I'm a little biased because I did work for the company for a while. Um, and I was just around them the most. I also worked for a Chevy dealership too. So I, I know what I don't like. Um, but in that same breath, I also wouldn't recommend uh, a Vag car, Volkswagen Audi Group. Just because they like redundancy. So as far as newer vehicles go, they're gonna have a lot of sensors, a lot of duplicate sensors even, which tend to go bad after, after, after a while. I read Shakespeare and stuff, the first step of any farmer, cool. Just tearing up a field was our achievement there. Um, but yeah, they like redundancy a whole lot. So like you could have two oil pressure sensors. One of them goes bad. And then you have to try to figure out which one is actually bad out of the two. And it can be a bit of a headache trying to diagnose. Then you're stuck bringing it to the dealer and they're going to charge you an arm and a leg because it's a specialty thing. And it's just, that's the annoying part. But if you're handy with the steel, if you know what I mean, got to earn your keep, um, I would recommend those cars. If you know a thing or two about vehicles, if you're not scared of uh, diagnosing some stuff on your own, rather than taking it to the dealer, for sure. Gotta be handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. Earn your keep. No cap, on a stack. <clears throat> True. Um, JW, if you're in UK, you have you have a Passat that I took an engine from for my R32, making it an R36. But you have an actual R36. You have a Passat wagon with a 3.6 liter VR6 engine. Uh, that I believe was naturally aspirated over there as well. But they sound amazing. They run great. That's a vehicle I would love to own someday. Technically, I kind of own it, but it's like a... I don't know. Like a cracked out US DM version of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's that engine, that that uh, drivetrain and everything, transmission is all the same, it's just in a different chassis. It also doesn't run. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that, okay? We don't bring it up. We don't bring it up. Oh, insurance and petrol costs, yeah. Yeah, typically with uh, those German cars too, they, they really like only only letting you use like for us here in the States, it'd be 91 octane. That'd be like the premium fuel. Um, some places you might find 93 and 94 here, but not too often. So that's something to consider as well. Tesla or Rivian? If we're only comparing them for their trucks, Rivian all day, because the Cybertruck I think is horrendous. I think it's super ugly. Uh, but Rivian actually, like, it looks good. It looks good. Will I own an electric vehicle in my lifetime? Probably, because that is kind of the way things are trending. But I'm not happy about it. I like, I like combustion engines. I like hearing the sound of them. I like manual transmissions as well. Those are kind of becoming obsolete now. So, it's tricky, man. It's tricky. But yeah, Rivian all day. We're just comparing the trucks, for sure. I just don't understand why you would intentionally make your truck so ugly, dude. And so cyberpunk-esque. Right? Like, what was, the, what was the motivation there? What was the line of thinking? Like, oh, this is going to sell really well because cyberpunk's releasing this here. What? It's weird. Uh, Panopolis, if you're still here, I haven't seen you in a while, if you're still kicking around, um, does it 
give us more money if we were to bring an implement to the store and sell it there? Or is it the same if we sell it here on the spot? I think that's our next mission is getting rid of getting rid of this thing. <clears throat> I guess if you don't know too, we can test it. out in front of a Ford Transit. Oh, wait. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, let me pull off here and we'll try to sell it without going to the store. We'll see if it's gonna if it's gonna cost any more. I think you do get a bit more at the shop since you can repair it first. Okay. Yeah, let's see. So that is an owned item of ours. It's going to be here. And it is right there. 16,000? 16, $16,932 if we were to sell it on the spot. So let's take it to the store and we'll see if that's going to be any better. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Just take up both lanes because we can. And then we can fold it back in. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Gavin lives in Michigan? Is that MI? I'm, I'm bad with state abbreviations. I'm bad with a lot of stuff. Uh, Brother Doug lives in Michigan as well. I'm an Iowan, brother. I'm all about corn, you know? Oh, see, that's Mississippi. What's, what's, what's Mitch, Mitchelgan? <laughs> or maybe Arrow's just yanking my chain now. I don't even care, dude. Is this where we sell? Is that the same or is that less? Chat, is this the same dollar amount or is it less now? Or is it more? We got a Pennsylvanian in here. That's cool. The same. Okay, yeah, it's the same. Cool. So now we know. Uh, let's just sell it, though. We could have repaired it and then sold it to see if... Because there's a repair shop right there. Um, but it's all right. Now we know. For our for our next implements and stuff, we can just chuck them out on the spot. Save a little bit of time having to drive to the store and everything. No, I did not repair it first. Level 40 for the scrap Koenig? Level 40 for what? Like a friendship level 40? I don't remember that at all. Sorry. Yeah, that's crazy. Who, who, who do you have to be friends with up to level 40 for that to happen? It's not Gilles, is it? Oh, the guy that owns the gas station. That is Jacques? I believe his name's Jacques. All right, let's check this out first. See what we got cooking here. Hey, pH is perfect. 
nitrogen is okay. I'm going to keep doing that, man, over and over and over again. Let's check this first. Yeah, nitrogen is still bad. But all we did was lime, and that's just going to improve our pH, which it's almost getting into the blue. Okay. Well... I'm half tempted to try to spray it first. It's like freaking Transformers, man. We got the, the Ed Hardy sprayer out here. That's crazy. No wonder it was so expensive. It's probably bedazzled to the nines. I'm just going to try to hire a worker for this. So the output is what is necessary. Look at that. Bottom left, chat. That is so much better. Oh, dude, that is so much better. Here, check this out. See that? That's nice. That's real nice. Gavin, hey, have a good one, brother. Uh, thank you for joining the stream today. Hope you had a good time. We will uh, see you next Tuesday. Or perhaps Monday, I guess, in a, in a pre-recorded video. This is the one that I want to hire a worker out for. A little help can go a long way. Plant get enough is the achievement there. Spraying I can do. Okay, and that worker should be finished up now. I'm going to leave it completely unfolded and try to drive it on over there. Fuji, did you look up the oregano mod? I haven't looked it up yet, Panopolis. I haven't done it yet. Maybe someday, though, right? Maybe someday. I really do like playing these games just vanilla, you know, as they're, as they're sort of meant to be played. But I understand wanting to have some mods. I get it. Seed first for best result is what it says. Whoops. That's okay. I mean we can do it we can do it again, right? We're gonna have plenty. Ooh, that fence. Look at that. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to have to go see you a lot later. Sounds good, Mavericks. Enjoy your game and stuff and things, brother. said same here usually don't install mods unless it's something super cool or useful well i think you know oh we forgot to rip that up i'll try to use this i don't know if it's strong enough strong enough i kind of reached my wits end modding skyrim to photo real quality so i play most games vanilla these days that checks out. I mean, there's mods for every game under the sun anymore. It used to be only only a select few of them had mods. Mainly GTA. 
Uh, but now it's like there's a there's a mod database for nearly every game. It's kind of kind of crazy. Skyrim does look insane modded though. I have seen several several of those photo reel videos. It's pretty sick. You really don't need like even even GTA. I'll still run uh, NVE Natural Vision Evolved like a shader because um, it's an old game. You know you're probably probably not going to need that on say GTA 6 for example. But Farm Sim 2022, I see no need for ultra photorealism graphic shader things. I think it looks perfect without it. How's the stream been today? No dropouts or anything? Really? I mean, maybe. It says there's fi there's 58 drop frames, but that was probably like right when I started the stream, just while it's trying to connect. Lighting and textures in this are great. I agree. Oh yeah, we probably don't need the lights on this. Oh, I didn't even realize, dude, we got 33 Gs in the bank now. We got money in the bank. Something about a green Cadillac. Solid stream so far. Good, good, good. Good to hear. Thank you, Panopolis. So it turns out this does have the horse puppies required to pull the cultivator, which is good. Another bonus of doing it this way is we're also getting rid of the weeds without even using an herbicide. 2G, what would you say your all-time favorite car is? A 2004, that's a Mark IV, Volkswagen R32. It's my favorite, and I really... Oh, there's deer over there! I really wish that I would have been able to enjoy that car for longer prior to blowing it up. I really do, truly. Maybe one day, right? Maybe one day. Might have to sell a couple of the jets and helicopters. Maybe that new 747 I bought yesterday just to be able to be able to get the R32 back up and, and operational. Might have to sell the AC-130 too. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if there's a Lamborghini tracker in the game. You bet your sweet bippy there is. I would have bought it too, but we just kind of started with this equipment, so we're gonna roll with it for as long as we can. But that's that's coming. All right, I'm I gotta buy it. We'd be um we'd be kind of dissing Jeremy Clarkson if we didn't, you know. Oh, a '60s Beetle. I wouldn't mind maybe in the future having like a fun little air cooled car. That could be cool. I would rather have a Porsche. Just a sprinkle. You have to think about the future. Okay, interesting. No idea what that achievement was for. Uh, I would obviously love an air-cooled Porsche over a air-cooled Beetle. Maybe if it was like a Baja Beetle, that would be kind of cool. Maybe someday, man. Maybe someday. Those, those old Porsches are just getting more and more expensive as the years go by, so... A 60s 911. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I would want. Um, specifically. Maybe a 964? Something, dude. Something cool. A Carrera? Aren't the Carreras the drop tops? I'm not a drop top guy. Can you guys see me driving around a drop top anything? Even if it was a Miata. That's just not me. That's not my vibe. It's too showy. You know? I know it's not trying to be a showy, but... 
Oh, the Cabriolet is the drop top, right. Volkswagen even named a whole car after that. They literally, they stopped calling it, um, well, and then they had the EOS, which was just a C, uh, CC, but a Cabriolet. That's one car that I remember all technicians hating, is the EOS. And they're so ugly. It's like the one car that VW just didn't get right. They got it way wrong. Oh, Carrera is like the base sport model. I gotcha. Uh, what about a... How do you pronounce that? Isn't it Countach? I don't think I could ever afford that. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. Nor would I even want one, though. I would say that's probably my least favorite uh, Lambo. Uh, JW, hey, Tuji, have to go, but have a good rest of your day. You too, brother. And thank you again, since you're not going to be here uh, for the additional shout-outs that we do at the end of the stream. Thank you again for the Super Chat today. I really, really appreciate that. You didn't have to do it. <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking like a Diablo SV type thing, you know, type B. You hate to spend all that money on a Lamborghini and you get the worst one. Was the RX-8 still a rotary? Or did they stop at seven? B? Yeah. No, oh, my good lord. Okay, that was a total accident. And we limed this, right? My memory's so bad, chat. Yeah, we did. We limed, cultivated, now we're gonna uh, hit it with the liquid, whoops, fertilizer, and then we'll sew over top of it. Arrow said he has terrible car luck. Don't buy a... I know I talk, I, I talk a lot of good stuff, or I say a lot of good things about VW and Audi. If you have bad luck with cars, don't buy one. <laughs> just, just don't. Uh, you, you will live to regret it. The minute you're having a bad day, you're... Volkswagen or Audi will immediately try to figure out how to make you have an even worse day. That I promise. All right, what fields we got done? Did he just do... Did he do any of them? Yeah, okay, so just that one. Needs rolling again. Get out of here. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not rolling it. I'm not do I'm I won't do it. I won't do it. Yeah, we're good then. We're ready for planting on 46 and 44. We'll try to do this right. There we go. And B. Wait, wait, wait. Z.
Yeah, super reliable and minimal maintenance. Get a Corolla or a Camry. That is so true, dude. So true. Preferably, and actually, this is a vehicle I wouldn't, I wouldn't even mind owning. Um, the new uh, GR Corolla. Got a three-cylinder that makes 300 horsepower, dude. That's a hundred. That's a hundred horse puppies per cylinder. That's kind of crazy. And it's turb ski, all-wheel drive, hatchback. You guys know I'm a big hatchback fan. Um, but I really liked Oxana's um, Corolla. I really liked my Lexus as well, which is just the luxury version of of Toyota or luxury division. So maybe that's maybe that's something I'll get someday. You know what? This thing has such a short working with. We really don't even need those things. It's not hard to stay in line. Yeah, the new GR Corolla, dude. It's it's fresh. It looks so good. Like, I don't know, I don't know who's in charge at Toyota right now, but they, they got it figured out, dude. They know what the people want. More GR models. And more manuals, too. They're like one of the only companies I still see actively producing manual uh, vehicles, like manual as an option. Thank you, Chef Squid, for subscribing. Happy to have you here. Welcome aboard. Heinrich's aiming to buy a Toyota station wagon. That sounds cool. Sounds very cool, Kanye. I mean, Heinrich. Also, don't get a Mini. It blew up on my uncle four times. Yeah, I, I, I had a friend, uh, Spencer. You guys have maybe seen him in, in vlogs in the past. I really can't remember. Or no, we did Phasmophobia videos together for a little while. Maybe like one or two episodes. Um... But he had a Mini for many, many years, and it was nothing but problematic. Granted, he did decide to slam it on some questionable coilovers. They were probably Racelands. This was this was many years ago. He's moved on from Racelands, believe me. Big drifter guy. Oh yeah, the um, I did a drift video for him and his and his crew, his drift team, Small Crimes. I did that. It's got copyrighted music in it. Otherwise, I would show you guys here on the spot. Um, but yeah, you would also know him from that. Big, big mini guy. But man, is he probably glad that he doesn't own that thing anymore. It's so expensive to repair. For what? It's, this, it's nearly the world's smallest car next to a smart car. I don't know how it could be so expensive. Uh, do I know what the VW Phaeton is? Yes. Yes, but at the dealership, we didn't talk about them. There was one guy. He actually worked over at the Audi building. Um, he knew so much more about them than literally anyone else. Anytime we had one, and he was the one that was supposed to work on them. They were very problematic. It was like the Volkswagen equivalent to an A8. Yeah, super problematic. They like, I don't know why, but they tried to go super luxury with a Volkswagen and it just didn't pan out for them. They had way too many issues with all the electronics and it was, it was a bad time. It was a bad time. That's not... Dude, I haven't even mentioned the... Uh, uh, Routons. <laughs> I, I hate a Routon, man. A lot of you probably don't even know what that is. That's the Volkswagen minivan. That's not even a Volkswagen. It's literally a Chrysler or a Dodge minivan from the same year. It's just rebadged as a Volkswagen. And it is the dumbest thing. It was so stupid. And, like, people didn't know where to take them. 
you'd think just because it has a Volkswagen badge, oh, I'm going to take it to Volkswagen. But, like, we didn't have the parts on hand to repair them a lot of the time. It would We'd have to get parts from Dodge or parts from Chrysler. Those things sucked, too. Or a Rialta. Like a... It was like a retrofitted uh, Eurovan, usually. Made to be like a camper. I don't, I don't remember what company did that, but they would always... Because on the, on the grill, it says Volkswagen, so they'd always bring it to the Volkswagen shop. But, like, we don't have the stuff to do that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a replacement bench seat for your now camper van. Sorry, I'm not trying to bore you guys. I'm also not trying to trauma dump on you. That's just... Those are my experiences from working with, with Volkswagen. Hmm. Subaru, bro. Subaru. What about the W8 Passat wagon with some nice rims, custom paint? Those look sick. They do look sick. They do look sick, but yeah, you're going to have a hard time finding parts for it. VW likes to do this thing where they just drop parts. They just they stop producing them or, or even reproducing them, and they don't tell anyone about it. I'm sure other dealerships do that too, but or other brands. Heinrich said, I find this really interesting. I barely know anything about cars. That's a good way to live your life. Well, unless you're like getting screwed over at a tire place or something, maybe. Uh, no comments. Hello. Welcome to stream. No comment, but you chat. I see. I get it. I understand. Uh, Steltman said, this, really, this is really taking me back. I have over 20 plus years at VW, Audi, Mazda, Toyota, etc. dealerships. The Rutan was a legit Dodge. Was it not, though? Like, oh my god. So many hours trying to explain to people, like, we don't have the stuff because it's not actually a Volkswagen. And they're like, but it have, it's got Volkswagen on the grill. What do you mean it's not a Volkswagen? It says Volkswagen on the tailgate. I'm like, I don't care, man. It's just, it's not, it's not the way it is. Thankfully, the getting parts from Dodge, they were just down the street from us. You know, we all the stores are pretty much like lined up on the on the same strip. Uh, so it wasn't a, it wasn't a huge deal. It was just annoying trying to tell people about that. Back, sorry, I've been playing House Flipper too. It's all good, James. How's the new carpet? Is it any good? Looks okay. I'll take your word for it. We are planting right now. We're shading. Uh, oh yeah, it doesn't even say anywhere, does it? I guess just the little icon. Oh, you can't e you can't even see that because it's behind me. It's canola. We're doing hopefully our last canola, and then I'd really like to switch to some corn. Uh, but we're going to need a new header for that. We're going to need a new cedar for that as well. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. Phase one was finish out all the crop that was here beforehand. And uh, phase two is now using the existing equipment to just keep doing some canola so we can get a little bit of extra money. And then phase three is going to be switching gears and... Uh, and trying to move over to corn instead. I might I might hire this out real quick, chat. 
because I really got to go to the bathroom. You got, you guys know me. I got, I got tummy problems, and I had Chinese today, so I will be right back. <laughs> All right, enjoy some chair cam though. It's good for you. It's good for the soul. Got to represent Iowa by planting corn. That's exactly it. You got it. Hit the nail, uh, nail right on the head. Nikita, I'm doing fantastic, but I have to run to the bathroom. I will be right back. Please don't go anywhere, chat. I'll be right back, okay? I swear it. Take the phone. Fine. I'll see you out there, chat. See you on the battlefield.
Hi, chat. Hi, chat. I have returned from war. Yeah, I've, uh... I've pretty much served. Oh no, is the is the AI driver burning through all the gears, man? That's no bueno. All right, and just like that, he is finished. Somebody said, who was it? Faden wanted me to do some sick donuts. Let's go into somebody else's field for that. We'll try it. I don't I don't think this thing can do donuts, but we'll give her a shot. You know what? It does better than I thought, and I think all the extra weight in the rear is probably helping. Not bad. Not bad. Oh my god, this thing does not turn very fast. Already got too much stuff over there. Let's put it, put it right here. All right. So now that we're done sewing, what I want to try. Oops. What I want to try next is to see if we couldn't fertilize with liquid over top of that again. Let's find out. Still want to see wheelie a tractor? We got to find like the perfect little bump for that. Maybe down here. We'll put her in reverse, Terry. Maybe like right here? We'll see. I mean, does that count? <laughs> All right, one more try, one more try. We gotta pick up a bit more speed. I'll come around the corner as hot as I can. Here we go time for sure. No. Yeah, it didn't it didn't even pick it. Well, I got the weight on the front too. That's not helping. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. We tried. Oh true, Logitech does have the tractor sim uh set up. Maybe that's something I should look into. Like I said earlier, I I all I want to be able to do is just drive out on the street be able to just lift a finger to everyone that's passing me, you know? Yep. I'm a farmer. That's all I need. All the additional, like, buttons and, and joystick and everything, I, I could probably do without. So maybe I'd just get a steering wheel. I still want one. They're just so expensive, man. And I'm not really sure that I want the Logitech one. Plus, it sounds like they're coming out with a newer, better one sometime soon. Word on the street. You didn't hear it from me, okay? Oh, might have to wait till the next growth stage. Well, let's find out. Yeah, it is already green. No, nah, it's not happening. Not happening. It's okay, though. <laughs> she thinks my tractor's sexy. Everybody knows that song, right? Surely. Okay, so what we're going to do then, chat, we're going to wait for our next growth stage. I think it should be as easy as just going to sleep real quick. Uh, and then tomorrow, hopefully we can hit it with some mo fertilizer you get me let's go like 8 a.m. maybe so we have a little bit more daylight <clears throat> sounds like he has water in his shoes that's just the gravel the the sound though something else that I love about this game the sound design is very good because when you start to walk on different textures the sound changes. This is gravel. This is grass. This is dirt. It's great. 
Val, welcome home. Welcome home. Break out that Xbox, Val. Get her fired up. Get her going. Um, is this technically another growth stage? I don't think it is. We might have... Wait. I was going to say we might actually have to sleep again, but... Where are we at? We're in August now, so we wanted to be selling in November, right? Okay, so three three more months. Basically, three more sleeps. James is taking off? Maybe? Or are you saying bye to somebody else? No, James is taking off. Hey, we'll see you later, James. Thanks for dropping by, brother. Hopefully you, hopefully you left a like. It would be super, super cool if you could do that. What are your PC specs? I get this question all the time, and I will go over it momentarily. But I gotta, I gotta focus, man. I gotta focus. We are now in September. Okay, that's cool. Uh, but now this is officially a new growth stage, so we should be able... We should be able to spray now. Maybe. Oh my god. I haven't forgot about the PC specs, don't worry. Uh-oh. I'm gonna be stuck behind that tree if I don't fold it back in, dang it. Are we wide enough? No. Here's good. Alright, let's see if that's gonna work. This is already, this area of the field is already as dark as it can be. But it's the other side that we might be able to hit. Thank you for letting me cook. I got a lot on the brain, okay? Nope. Nope, it looks like that's going to be as good as it gets. Which is fine. Alright, uh, PC specs are... RTX 3070, EVGA RTX 3070, uh, Ryzen 9 now, 3950, does that sound right? 3950X, pretty sure. Uh, I have a, yeah, you don't really care about like the water cooling and, and everything like that, do you? Probably not, most people don't. Power supply, I don't even remember, man. It's up there though. Um, I'm, I'm pretty bad at this. What else? My dedicated wham. Y'all, I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to pull out my boxes. I, I don't rem I genuinely don't remember what I have in this thing anymore. But this is maybe its fourth or fifth iteration. Constantly improving. And it's not its final form. Alright? We're trying to get at least a, a 4070. Maybe they'll have 50 series cards by the time I'm ready to get another one. I don't know. Yeah, 5950X. That is Tay CPU. I don't know, did I say 30 something? Whatever. That's what I got, man. We need all the information about the water cooler. I'm sorry. <laughs> In that case, it's a standalone Corsair 
uh, AIO. That's all I know about it. It it does the stuff though. It 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 does the trick. You know. It does the trick. Okay, uh, we're done with Limon, so let's go ahead and get that thing returned. Uh, and it turns out we're also done with the sprayer. Or we could do herbicide. Nah, let's just let's just rent the weeder again. It's probably cheaper. All right. See you later. Can we sell? Probably not. Those bags that we have, or the bag that we have. We got a deal on a Husqvarna, dude. 7,800 bucks? We can't do it right now. We can't. I want to, but we can't. And then... Fertilizer spreader. We are done with the limon. Return. It's costing us money when we when we sit on it for a couple days at a time, so got to get it gone. Uh, now though, we're gonna have to lease a weeder. Whoops. Which is somewhere in here, right? Right there, right there. Didn't we rent this one last time? That sounds right. Or lease 2200 bucks again. God, you hate to see it, but I mean, we, we have to do something about it, don't we? This tractor only tops out at 19, so let's take this one to the store. It tops out at 26. Tanner said, random. How do you feel about Roller Coaster Tycoon or maybe try Park Attack sometime? I... I hear you, brother, and I appreciate that you really liked the Planet Coaster series. Maybe check out the Planet Zoo series if you're if you're into games like that. I think I said in the previous stream, because this was brought up, and maybe it was brought up by the same person, I don't remember. Um, but if I ever wanted to take a trip down memory lane, I would consider maybe doing a... a modern day playthrough of like Roller Coaster Tycoon, something like that. Because I, I I did grow up playing those games. It's like one of the first games I ever played on a computer was, was Roller Coaster Tycoon. And that's why I was so drawn to uh, to Planet Coaster, you know? I'm not going to say no, but I'm not going to say yes, because I don't want you to get your hopes up. I can say that it probably won't be anytime soon. I'm not really at a point yet where I'm trying to reminisce about the games I used to play when I was a kid. You know? Maybe when I'm like 30? <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Whoops. Saving up for a Asus gaming laptop. I tried desktop, but it's just not my type. Yo, the gaming laptops have come a long way. I used to kind of laugh when people would say they have a gaming laptop because I always thought they were just junk, right? How can you fit a graphics card in such a small thing? They're actually not bad anymore. They used to be terrible. But like, in, in recent years, people got it figured out now. They're really, really not bad. I know um, Ev, you guys know Ev and, and Nem. They're both moderators here on the channel. Just our, our really good friends, Oxane and myself. Um, but I know Nem has a gaming laptop now. I think Dirty even has a gaming laptop now. And they're able to do all the same stuff we used to play together just fine, if not better. So, kinda, kinda cool. Ah, uh, you know what? I should really start on the other field, shouldn't I? Yeah, the form factor. I mean, that's a huge selling point. The portability is nice as well. Um, for me, I don't think that a gaming laptop would work well. And I only say that because I have to 
uh, be able to record the game, the gameplay on top of being able to play it. And I don't know if they're up to being able to do that yet. I'm not sure that they're up to the challenge there. But they are good. Don't get it twisted. I just need I need all the GPU power to be able to encode and and everything for uh, for streaming and and pre-recorded stuff as well. But if you want to flex on some people, maybe a desktop PC is is the way to go. Hard to flex your internals on your PC when you can't open up your laptop and, and show it off, you know? Cooling is a big issue as well. Yeah, because you're limited to air-cooled. I don't think anyone, to my knowledge, makes a liquid-cooled uh, gaming laptop. Yet. It could happen. Yeah, the other argument is a uh, desktop PC is a lot easier to upgrade. Less daunting, I'm sure. You hate to crack open the case on your on your laptop, you know? Yeah, doesn't Linus own stake in a in a laptop company now? Framework, I think is is what it's called. They're apparently pretty good. Oh, speaking of dust, dude, I gotta I gotta blow my PC out. I'm I've kind of been putting it off. I was just gonna do it when I finally get to move into the new office. Um, which word on the street chat is I'll finally be getting my door maybe this weekend. I'm literally, I'm held up by a door. I'm waiting on the door to my new office. I can't even start framing it until I have it because I just, I just don't know the dimensions of it. I know the dimensions of the door, but you have to take into account the actual frame for the door as well. Uh, and that is that is what I don't know. But it's coming. It's coming. That'll be House Flipper IRL Part 4. So be on the lookout for that. I know you're all still waiting. Not all of you, but some of you are still waiting for Part 3. It's also coming. Just gotta finish that dang kitchen, man. Just gotta finish that kitchen. Just make the door. I ain't built like that. I ain't built like that. Oh, the blower from uh, Computer Repair Shop. That would be great. I just use my air compressor. I know people are like telling you maybe not to use an air compressor because it's more powerful than a can of compressed air to blow out your computer but I've never had any issues with it I, I always try to use very low PSI while doing it so if you're smart about it you probably won't screw anything up or jack your neighbor's door yeah that's a good welcome to the neighborhood from me to all my new neighbors Hey, hope you don't mind. I just stole your door. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Oh, Jesus. That's what I get for looking away for two seconds. <clears throat> Laptop is good for school and good for playing Mondazu during breaks. That's funny. Yeah, see, I, I, I wish gaming laptops were a thing when I was in school. Back in my day, that would have changed everything, dude. I mean, even like mobile gaming. I wish old school RuneScape would have been available on mobile when I was in school. That would have been fantastic. They waited, they waited on that for far too long, in my opinion. <laughs> they don't have to know it was you. Heinrich, it's not happening. I, I cannot steal my neighbor's door from their house. I cannot do that.
<laughs> nice door. Looks like my door that just got stolen. Heinrich do kind of be the resident villain, though. <laughs> yeah, place a fake one in its place. They'll never know. They'll literally... How would they know? They will never know. Should we... Panopolis, should we hang on to the rake? Or should we just release if we need it again? Steal a door from Monsters, Inc. They have loads. That's funny. That is funny. And a bunch of loose socks. <laughs> For me, desktop feels bulky. I don't know why. Well, you have to have more space on your desk for a, a desktop, for sure. For a tower. Great demand at Goldcrest Valley for what? Wait, is it already our month? No, it's October. We were waiting until November, right? Uh, where do we find... Goldcrest Valley. Great value. 2200 for canola right now. Wait, 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 chat. The high end is 2217. They're taking it right now for 2231. I think it's time to sell. Huh? What do we say? I'm down if you're down. That is the train, though, so we do still have to rent the train. I'm thinking it's time to sell, dude. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Hopefully we can actually carry, or we totally can, all of our grain in our grain cart. This thing's bigger than it looks. Uh, when I played FS22, I only bought, only bought equipment if it was on sale. That's probably a smart way to go about it, though. I mean, it's cool that that functionality exists in this one. I don't think it existed in, um, what was the other one? 19. All right, let's fill her up. Got to get all that canola in here. Oh, can we fill it all? Yeah, we can. Just barely. Just barely, though. All right, let's roll out. Go through a little creek right here. Did we determine is the other one closer? Whoops. Um. No. Well, this isn't even the right screen. We want this one. We can rent a train from here, but we can't actually load it. I think I think over here might actually be closer. But we're already we're already headed this direction. Let's just keep going. It's fine. It's fine. Baden's taking off. Hey, we'll see ya. Taking off, I'm tired. See ya, gang. Later, squ squad! <laughs> Later, brother. Have a good one. Jacob Dawson, welcome to stream, brother. Yeah, no more MSC, y'all. No more MSC. MWC. We will be playing. Oh, somebody's trying to pass me. Sorry. Sorry. It's my bad. Sorry. I think we're good now. <laughs> Chris, welcome to stream, brother. Good to see you again. Eyes on the road. I I'm trying, man. 
At least I'm not texting and driving. I'm just chatting and driving. It's a little different, right? our turn off? Yeah, right here. <laughs> Lawrence wants me to drip the tractor. Lawrence, you probably missed our donuts earlier. It, it doesn't really, it doesn't really work all too well. really struggling trying to pull that up a small incline let's get this dumped <laughs> oh good you remembered to fill the trailer this time I sure did I sure did not gonna make that mistake again no, I, I probably will. At least, just not this time. Oh, they're growing some cotton right there. I forgot that that was even a thing. Alright, let's rent ourselves a train. It's coming right now. Do we just have that one? Uh, okay, we've already we've already got it. Sick. Right on schedule. And we should be able to tab into the into the train now, yeah. Yeah. We could have walked up to it too, but that's not as cool. Let's get our cover opened up. Okay, going a little fast here. Just overshot that. Barely. Um, Panopolis, this time I am going to do the thing. All right. I'll do the thing this time. All right, let's fill her up. Canola, baby. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, these, these can hold a lot more than our little uh, tipper trailer deal. Reverse, baby! It's the move. It really is the move. I should have done it last time, but... That's it. Alright. Yes, please sell the loaded goods. 15,000, dude! That puts us up to 45,000 bucks. Look at it. Still going in reverse, Terry. Incredible. Alright, we're gonna hop on the old interstate, too, and just try to run that all the way home. Worth it. That was worth it, chat. $15,000 in the back pocket. Well, $45,000, but $15,000 more. That feels pretty good. From only 7,000 bushels of uh, canola. Not too shabby. And we're going to have more after our next harvest because we were actually able to spread lime and fertilize this time, which we couldn't really afford previously. Will you spend your money uh, on anything good on sale? There was a Husqvarna dirt bike for sale. I remember there being a dirt bike mod uh, the last time I played this, and it was terrible. Like, undrivable terrible. Okay, no traffic behind me. Good, I don't feel bad. So that might be something we could check out. We'll see. <laughs> slowly drifting into oncoming it's because i'm looking this way right when you when you look a certain direction on your on your phone or something not that i text and drive ever certainly not speaking from experience here uh, but you do tend to kind of drift to whatever side you're looking toward 
it even happens if you're trying to change the, the radio station, right? It's a thing. Um, what do we got on sale? Is there anything good? A 6R? I mean, we can't afford that right now. We could lease it, but we kind of own our all, all of our equipment right now. But 7800 bucks for a Husqvarna dirt bike seems kind of cheap. Seems kind of cheap. Oh, and it's for a dang 500. That's crazy. 63 horse puppies. You got five years. This one has six. Headlight? Not a big fan of that. Exhaust? They got any branded exhausts or is it just... No, it's, it's some default stuff. Mm. Kind of like that one the most. I don't know. Design one's pretty good too. Yeah, let's just stick with design one. Hand protector? No, those are for babies. Those are for babies. Hub color. Since it's a Husqvarna, they're usually just like silver, aren't they? Like white or, or gray. A lot of you probably didn't even know that Husqvarna makes dirt bikes. You're probably thinking, well, they make leaf blowers and chainsaws and stuff. No, they, they make dirt bikes too. I don't know if they're any good. Never actually ridden one. Mm, surely there's like a light gray in here. That's better. That's better. I'm going to see what color that's changing. Ooh, that's got to be black. Metallic black. For sure. Gauntlet color. You mean grips. You mean grips. Let's go jet black on the grips. Seat color, also jet black. Rim color. Oh, that was the hub color that we were changing. I got you. Let's go with... Maybe a yellow? Some gold hubs? It's kind of cool. Oh, the orange accents are going to stay, though, aren't they? Mmm, maybe we go orange then. Orangey. Yeah, that's, that's probably going to look the best. And then rim color. Metallic black? That kind of goes hard, chat. That kind of goes hard. Are we really going to spend money on this? 8,000 8, bucks. It's on sale, though. What do you think? Now, now, you need to reinvest that profit in the farm. Oh, man. But it's so cool. Timmy said, Timmy said, do it. Panopolis said, treat yourself. We do need to turn a profit, though. Heinrich's kind of right, man. I don't know. I just went through all the trouble of customizing it. Chris said, nah. Okay. Okay. Wow, that's hard. Wow. Faden, welcome back. Couldn't, uh, couldn't quite fall asleep yet? Please, allow me. <laughs> yeah... Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. If we were to buy the dirt bike, we would have basically... Well, no, because didn't we make like 16000 So we would have basically been spending half of our uh, harvest profit. It's okay. <laughs> Tucci being a responsible adult. I really do want to get a pit bike maybe this summer. Uh, like I, I said before, my buddy Spencer, he's got a bunch of dudes. They, uh, they all got pit bikes together, and they go, they go riding around, hanging a wound in the wood. You know, it'd be fun. Something to, something to get me outdoors a bit more. You know, I tend to be pretty cooped up in this office. 
And if I make a video about it, chat, it's a business expense. Ah, right? Isn't that how that works? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Uh, what now then? We gotta we gotta fast forward some more. Get rid of the weed thingy. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that boy. And now we sleep. Plus, it's a good bike for kids. That's true. Then when I when I finally do have kids, I don't have to get them their own dirt bike because dad's already got one that's actually meant for them except he rides it. <laughs> you do typically you do have to get some pretty beefy suspension so they don't just bottom out on you if you hit a jump, even a small jump. Uh ooh, now that it's November though, let's check prices. See if we made a good call selling when we did. Oh, that's going to save my game? What? Oh, it's this one. Now it's 24. <laughs> Dude, we could have made 200 extra dollars per bushel. That's, that's sad. That is sad. Well, time to go back to sleep, I guess. I think you need to wash the tractor. Is it pretty bad? I haven't even been paying attention. Yeah, I don't know how far you could write off a vehicle for occasional content. I mean, if I make even just one video with it, right? <laughs> surely, surely I could. Yeah, totally. Uh-huh. Ooh, that is kind of... Deer Tay, isn't it? Well, I don't have... Is there a car wash in town or something? I don't have anything to wash the vehicles right now. Which is a problem. Um, I don't remember if there was any... Oh, there's a lime over there. I don't remember, dude. This is actually a really good map for forestry, too. Maybe not really good, but... Decently good. And you got all this up here that would probably be fine for it. But like down here, the carpentry building's pretty close. So it'd probably be best to plant and chop down there. But anyways, we're not we're not doing no lumberjacking today. That ain't what we're here to do. Cereal factory, the dairy. There's the animal dealer. Yeah, I don't think that there's anywhere for us to wash. I mean, maybe at the gas station across the street. But honestly, we're probably just going to have to... Um, probably just going to have to buy that. Oh, dude, look at our expected yield now. On the edge of the field, it was like 99%. Well, you can't see that, can you? 98%. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, let's see. Is there a hose somewhere on the side of the house, maybe? I have a feeling. There's a basketball hoop. That's cool. Nope, that's just a well. I have a feeling we're probably going to have to buy... I thought that was a person. The heck? We're probably going to have to buy, like, a power washer. That is what it's looking like. How much do one of those run? And is there one on sale? Ooh, there's actually more available today. What is this? Four stack? Is that a baler? Or a bale carrier? Bale wrapper? What does this do? Bale handling solutions. Maybe it's just a bale transporter, dude. I don't know. Mmm, forklift. That's kind of neat. JCB, they go real fast. 43 miles per hour. Probably the fastest tractor. Faster than the Lamborghini, if I had to guess. Let's let's uh, fact check myself on that real quick. Lamborghini is not a large tractor. Oh, these 
These are so sick. So are these, but you know. Maybe it's a schmedium. That's the Valtra. Valtra. Is it a small? Did they get rid of it for... Stop. I'm going to be so sad if they got rid of it for 22. It existed. That's crazy. And it's methane power? Wow. I'm going to be so sad if they got rid of the Lamborghini tractor. Did they? No, 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 no. Surely I skipped over it. Right? They got rid of the Lambo? Why? 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 They did. They did, Timmy. They did it. I cannot. I'm. I'm so sad. I'm so sad about that, dude. I was really looking forward to getting the Lambo. Well, that's probably the one mod, the one other mod that I might add. I really like the Lamborghini tractor. It's funny. It's a Lamborghini and it's a tractor. It's weird. Yeah, that is that. They did us dirty. They did us dirty for sure. Um, okay, back to sleeping then. Wait, when are we supposed to be able to harvest? That is going to be... Oh, harvest is orange. Wow. My brain was like, wait, I planted then. July. We gotta wait till July again. Is Lambo under grape technology or some specialized category, maybe? Can I search in the store? I'm not sure if I can. Oh, and now it's snowing. If that, if, dude, if that freezes my crop, I'm gonna be so upset too. First the Lamborghini, then my crop freezes over. Oh my god. That would just be terrible. Um, I'll check grape technology, but yeah, I, I don't think it's in there either. Or olive. New Holland, though, they got they got that covered. It's not in Forge Harvesters. Ooh, that's cool. Shoot, man. It's not in trucks, either. Also, they only have Mac trucks, which is interesting. They had, like... Oh, no, they didn't have Peterbilt's in the other ones. Those were mods. Never mind. Hmm. That is a bummer. I, I, they could have put it in cars? No. Nope. They don't exist. What's on sale today? Sorry for yawning, chat. I'm not tired. Uh, same things plus an 8R now. 50% off. Another JCB. What, is, what even is this? Oh, it's got a CVT transmission? That's crazy, dude. That's like a rubber band. My Lexus had one of those. It was terrible. It's really not that bad, but... What do you use this for? Stay back 100 meters. What does it do? <laughs> what does it do? Is it like a skitter type thing? Maybe for... Maybe for lumber? I don't know. And then a Uniwrap uh, baler and wrapper. It's kind of cool. We have no use for it though, unfortunately. Back to sleep. Oh. Is there a company called Ursus? Not to my knowledge, no. Oh, wait, what is there today? Oh, they're just dangling the carrot in front of my face now, dude. The audacity. It's even cheaper now. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. We already agreed we're not doing it. This is sick, though. Uh, Ursus. That's going to be in use. Okay, it goes from T to V, so no. 
No, that's not a thing. How's our field doing, though? Still got 44,000, uh, 44, so we're looking good there. Still growing. Expected yield has not changed even after the frost, which is good. We gon' turn a profit. We gon' do it. It's gonna happen. That Baylor will pay for itself. Panopolis, you're right, but it's not gonna pay for itself because we don't have any way, or we don't have anything that needs to be bailed right now. We don't own any land with grass on it apart from what little grass is actually around the field. We'd have to plant all of our fields full of grass or, or, uh, or wheat or something like that and then bale that stuff. Can't do that. We can't do that just yet. Okay, still no weeds, so that's cool. And it's still growing. Uh, July, right? Gotta wait till July. Oh, I was also gonna look at the... The dealio. It's probably in miscellaneous. Or not. The power washer? Really? God, I did so good in uh, Tuesday's stream with not yawning, and here I am today. That's like three in a row. Winter equipment. Chainsaws, forestry equipment, sprayers. I remember. How do we get to the landscape mode? The landscape store. Do we do that here? I mean, I know I said I remember, but I don't remember the keybind for it. I'm trying everything. That's, well, we have a flashlight. That's good to know. Nothing. Is it the same store? Oh, it is. Construction. And probably in decoration or tools tools here we go oh and we can get some like instruments too yeah there there she be 45 4500 bucks it's kind of expensive where should i put it though maybe over here well that's not gonna work We'll put it we'll put it right out here. Perfect. Oh, it's it's Alt F4. Alt F Not going to do that. What do you take me for? Some sort of rookie? Like, my, my first stream ever, somebody told me to Alt F4, and I was like, huh? And I did it. Never again. <laughs> Never again, man. Alright, let's get this thing cleaned up, though. Oh, and the weight, too? If I remember right, that's actually separate? Damage? There's 8% damage on this, too. Right. We haven't exactly been servicing our vehicles. Or our equipment, for that matter. Yes, I am washing a tractor. It was highly recommended that we buy a power washer. So I bought a power washer. And, and we're cleaning, man. Now we're going to park it back in the dirt so it can get gross again. Oh, I forgot I had the gator, too. That probably could have been sold off. Can't imagine we're going to have to sample the soil like ever. <laughs> Why do we need to service them? The old girl can handle it. Uh, it's just good practice. You know? Oh, 
Uncle T said again, a walk down memory lane. My dad always washed and waxed his tractors before putting them away for the season. Even the combine. Now that is some serious dedication to the craft, brother man. That does not at all surprise me. You seen his, you seen his Aspen? I don't even know what year that thing is. 04? 05? 06? 07? It looks brand new. It looks like it just rolled off the dang showroom floor. I mean, the guy really knows how to take good care of his uh, of his equipment. No surprise there. We're still not ready for harvest, though, are we? Back to sleep, man. <laughs> 2007, Aspen. Uh, Grandma came over and dropped off a quilt for Gabriel the other day, and she was driving the Aspen, and I was like, this thing looks brand new. Like, you could, you could eat off of it. He does good work, man. He takes good care of his stuff. Is that... No. Could it be? Probably not, right? Probably not. Oh, that's a broom. Hmm. Interesting. I see. Oh, we're ready! And just like that, we are not ready. It says growing still. Oh, it's only May! Alright. Wake me- <laughs> Yeah, it's totally oregano. Uh, wake me up when, uh, when we can actually harvest. Faden wants to see some oregano harvesting. Apparently, there's a mod for it, so maybe. But today, probably not. Probably not. I thought it said July. I swear I thought it said July. Do some basil while you're at it. We gotta sleep. We gotta do it. It's the only way. We only have three fields, and once they're full up with crop, there's literally nothing that else, like nothing else we could do to just even pass the time. That was kind of what the dirt bike was gonna be for, but you know, you guys, you guys talked me out of it. Great demand at Johnson Farmers Market. What is this about? Great demand for what? For what? Uh, Johnson's Farmer's Market. Well, it's not for canola, I can tell you that for sure. 14, no, because Goldcrest is still more. No, probably not that. Soybeans? Okay, maybe we should plant some soybeans next. I didn't realize that they went for upwards of 3800 bucks a bushel. Good lord. That's that's chump change compared to our canola. Or that's big money compared to our chump change canola. You you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Corn isn't great, but the yield's always pretty solid. You tend to get quite a bit of it. Hmm, I don't see where this Is it cotton maybe? Whatever. Eggs? You got eggsma? It's one of those. It's something we don't have. So, basically, we don't have to worry about it. Wait, can you just sell diesel? You can just sell Daisy to the gas station now. That's crazy. Oh, and then we could actually, like, get into uh, other um, businesses and things. That's cool. Canola oil. We could turn our canola into canola oil. That might be worth it. That might actually be worth it. Wait, the debris crusher buys... I just dumped them on my lawn, dude. We could have got money for these? Well, I mean, we can still, like, pick them back up if we get, like, a skid steer or something and, and sell them then. I was unaware that you could sell rocks in this game. That's cool. Uh, who's leaving? Val? Val, you out? 
Might do the same talk later. Val, have a good one. Thank you for joining the stream today. Hopefully you had a fun time, even though it was just for a short while. But I know you were at your sister's. You were driving home. I get it. You, you already explained everything on Discord. So it's it's chill. We're chilling. Have beehives near your food or near, near, I can't speak. Near your fields will boost yield. Plus you get honey. That's cool. Yeah, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But it's time to break out the old harvester now. Ain't no international harvester, but shoot. It'll do the trick. Yeah, home is beacons. We just don't have beacons on our tractors. Alright, let's get old girl unfolded. And we'll get down to business. Yield is going to be so much better on that. Oh my god, yeah. We're still not quite to, like, dark green, almost blue, but it's way better than it was last time. I mean, look at the comparison, bottom left. The fields are orange. Now we're turning them slightly more green. And with our next plant, um, or our next seeding, it should be better, because we're going to be able to build off of the pH and the, the nitrogen levels that are left on the field after harvest. Honey is good, makes me. Enough said, I guess. I've never had the privilege of enjoying a good glass of mead. Probably don't even serve it in glasses. It's probably only served in a goat's horn or something. That's what I'm saying. I gotta get rid of that fence, dude. It's causing problems. I can't even... I can't even turn around! No, you drink it in the glass. It's honey wine. Okay. The name just sounds too uh, bold and brash like that Squidward painting. You know? Like you need to drink it out of a, a wooden cup, a wooden chalice instead or something. The Big Sim Boo? Boy, boy? Now there's no eye there. It's just boy. Welcome to stream. Good to see you. Maybe this is just me, chat, but... If you guys are, like, carrying something heavy and you're going in reverse, you're putting it in reverse, Terry. Like, we were just moving house recently. That's why I bring it up. But if you're doing that, do you do, like, beep, 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 beep as you're, as you're backing it up, Terry? Just me, okay. Way to make me feel... <laughs> oh, okay, Arrow does it, too. Good, 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 good. I was like, surely I can't be the only one.
<laughs> Uncle T said absolutely it's required. All right, all right. Only cool guys do it. Wow. He glazing. He glazing. Arrow just trying to get a ride in the new helicopter, swear. <laughs> Some more water chat. You care if I just leave you guys here with uh, with a worker quick? I'll be right back, okay? If this dude's slacking off, fire him. Alright, on the spot. I'm not scared. I'm angling for the moderator company car this year. <laughs> Joke's on you. It's gonna be a mini. <laughs> Hi, chat. Right on schedule, dude. Sorry, chat. I got I got distracted. I was talking about that. Seems like the worker did okay. <laughs> LT Tippy said toilet? No, 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 no. Just water. Just water this time. Typically, just one one potty break midstream is, is all your boy needs. We've already done it. There used to be cruise control, yeah? Yep. There sure is. I just forgot the key bind. chapstick dude 
Oh, okay, cruise control's still on. Um, this cold weather, man, it's got my lips just falling right off. Yeah, what are you guys talking about? We're sacrificing someone now? What the heck? <laughs> what did I come back to? to the chair gods. Right, 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 right. That ought to help. Chair gods demand three lurkers a week, huh? I feel like we have a pretty good amount of, uh, of lurkers, usually. Mm, Timmy prays to the Lamborghini tractor gods. That makes sense. Somebody's got to. I wonder if it's a DLC. You think it is? hope not because I'm not trying to I'm not trying to spend actual money to get a Lamborghini tractor in game but if that's what needs to happen we'll see we'll see um, does anyone have the ability to look right now on Steam or should I just do it it's gotta exist it just has to there's no way dude there's no way that they would just straight up not include it. It's a mod? Okay, well, that's free. That's great. Um, we could do it. Again, back to the multiplayer thing. I'm trying to do this without as many mods as we possibly can. That way, when we do have a multiplayer day... Y'all can jump in here easily uh, with, with no, no problems. This thing's almost full. Nero said, remind me, I'll check after Strim. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'll probably do the same. I'm, I'm just as curious as you guys are. Trying to get better with my turnarounds. I feel like I'm real slow at this. It doesn't help when there's trees in the way. That was probably the best one yet. I couldn't even see what I was doing. We could just check after we harvest, too. I mean, that's an option. Rick's gonna hit Google. Cool, cool. Hit up the old Google search. I just can't get enough moisture on my lips, man. It's crazy out here. Good weather's right around the corner, though. I don't know if you guys saw, but the groundhog did see his... Did not see his... We're having an early spring. We're having an early spring, according to Mr. Groundhog. Or Mrs. Groundhog. Oh, that's not good. We were doing so well. We were doing so well, and then we had a huge, huge frame drop right there midstream. Oh, okay, and we're full, and I damaged some crop. 
Panopolis said, I prefer DuckDuckGo over Google. Said no one ever. Yeah, sorry for the uh, sorry for the drop out there, chat. Internet's not super great here at the folks. Uh, but it's surprising that that's the first drop out that we had. Yeah, do try to refresh if uh, if it booted you out. Or says that the stream ended or something stupid. It's not ogre. I promise you guys, it is not ogre. But I do apologize. I, I wish I could prevent that stuff from happening, but I just can't. I'm just so, I'm so eager to get my office built. More eager, like, not even not even just because I'll have good internet, but, like, just to see what sort of speeds I will actually get. Obviously, we have the two-gig plan, um, but I'm just curious. When I'm direct wired in, I'm curious to see what sort of figures we would be getting. We might be able to start doing 1440p streams. My SSD is not going to love that. My... I think it's only a 250 gig SSD. That's what I just put all the VODs and recordings onto. But, could be a thing. Could be a thing. I definitely couldn't do that now. I just don't have the bandwidth. Okay, we are back. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Glad you guys are actually able to, uh, to come back. Sometimes it bugs out so bad that it thinks that the stream's already ended and then takes you to a new stream that I didn't start. That's really annoying. So next stream, it's Lambo and Oregano mods? Maybe. I do have the weekend to be able to uh, get mods installed and stuff, so we'll see. also not here anymore on the weekend, so I don't know that that really helps me <laughs> come to think of it. There we go. streams? Probably not. Uh, I don't play games in 4K. I, I usually play in 1440, which is 2K. So maybe 2K streams. But 4K, yeah, that ain't that ain't gonna happen. The internet might be able to hang, but my computer definitely wouldn't. I would for sure need a better graphics card for that. And that's saying something. The 3070, I mean, ain't bad. It's no 3080 or 3090, sure. Uh, definitely not a 40 series, but they're pretty even, I feel like, for the most part. 30 to 40s. And the 40 series cards are typically cheaper, which is crazy. Nah, very funny chat. 8K stream, 16K stream win, 100,000K stream win. You guys are too much sometimes. Oh my god, this rear steer is awful. It's so slow. There's a setting I can disable for that, I know. I like the uh, I like the feedback of the steering. It's just gets tricky when you're trying to back it up. Put her in reverse Terry. Okay, we got thirty-nine thousand dollars wrap meow. So let's think about this. Let's think about this. Hang on. First and first mostly. We can only plant soybeans in April. 
which we've already missed our window for. But if we plant canola again, we're not going to be able to harvest until July, which means then we wouldn't be able to plant soybeans because there would already be crop on the field. We could plant oil seed radish. That is something that we could do. And then we could just plant soybeans over top of that, and that would almost act as a fertilizer. That's not a bad idea. That ain't a bad idea. Oh, hang on. I was going to check pH. Still good. Could be better. But still good. Whoops. What about... Yeah, pH is still good. Nitrogen is very low. Mm, did lime... Oh, and that's our yield. So we do still have some orange spots. Orangey. A couple of yellow spots as well. We're trying to see that get more light green, almost blue if possible. So we need more nitrogen. Currently no... Samples to analyze. Oh, should we do new samples? That's easy. Let's get some new samples. And stop. Right back a little bit. Right here. What was our sample thing again? B? Sampling. This really just tells us our soil types, right? Which we kind of already know. Um, but I'm going to do it anyways. Is there a Keck Met mod for this game? No. <laughs> no, there is not. I'm sure there will be a Kekmet or Kekmet equivalent in my winter card, which I will be playing whenever it comes out. Remember to send in the samples. I will. I will. I got it. Yeah, we're, we're going to send in this information on soil types. And it's, it's going to come back with the same information we had before. We're, like, clearing it out. But that's okay. And we can do all of 44 in one go, right? We sure can. That's our last sample. Let's send it in. Sweet. We're good. Thank God we got the gator for that. Literally just for that. Do you have to buy the adjacent property to knock the fence down? Yeah. Usually. I can check our property line, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we would have to. Not trying to not trying to get that thing stuck. Okay. Real quick though, let's check our soil samples. Are we good? Is everything fine? Last time we had some sort of a pop-up on each field. It seems to me that we have the same information that we had last time. Okay, note to self. We don't need to do that every time. Uh, but we do need to increase the nitrogen levels. Arrow. It's looking like our property line does stop just before the fence, potentially. I mean, I can try it. 
we can go into uh, construction mode, right? Or is it farmland mode? Landscaping. I don't remember. Let's see if let's see if we can sell it. New. No, that is a big N O. What about farmland? Oh, even, dude, even if we bought 14, you see that little sliver right there? I bet you that's exactly where that fence is. Yikes. But we have a lot of good fields here for future expansion, which is nice. 14, I guess, is one of them. Um, but 2, 3, 4, and 5 down here are really solid. Wow, the value of our land currently is 156,000. That's pretty bonkers. Needs rolling. Weeds are growing. What time is it anyways? 4.30? Okay. We got, we got a little bit more time yet, chat. We got a little bit more time. I think... That we should do some stuff and some things or whatever. You know? Like some more limon? I'm releasing the same equipment chat because, uh, should we rip it up first? Nah, probably not. Lime and then rip it up. Um, but I'm, I'm releasing the same equipment because when we hang on to it, while it's leased, it's going to cost us money, even though we're not using it. So it's just best to lease, use it for what you gotta do, and then get it the heck out of there. <laughs> Limonet, the French lemon. It's limon, which is lime or lemon. The 25,000 Amazon is better, and you're probably right, Panopolis, but the fields are small. They're really small. Also, I can't put lime in the Amazon one. Just in these, just in the red ones. Just, 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 just to prove it, just to prove it. Even if I went with this one, no limon. This one, limon. That's, that's just facts, man. That's just facts. Oh, we got a Canadian in chat. Very cool, very cool. Could start looking to purchase tools uh, that we lease. Yeah, these two right here would be would be what we uh, probably want. And then we used three limones last time. Does that sound right? Whoops. Let's just do the same again. 1350. Oh, and a Swede. Very true. There is also a Swede in chat. I think that's so cool that we're uh, we're all pretty pretty far spread around the around the world. You know. The Tugians. They're everywhere. Yeah, purchase tools before we purchase more fields. I agree. I think that's a good plan. I'm glad we're all on the same page.
make sure to empty it before you return it or you lose it. When you empty in this game, it's not like the other ones where it would just be loose lime or fertilizer and stuff on the field, right? It like it like repackages it. I know it's not very realistic, but I'm pretty sure if I remember right, that's the way it works. It'll it'll basically put it in the same container that we just got it from. Does that sound right? We are spreading the limon. We're gonna hire this out too. Hopefully he does good stuff for us. Oh, I really thought he was gonna keep going. I really thought he was gonna keep it up. Something else that might be a good idea too is getting a plow and plowing, I'll just get out so I can show you guys, uh, plowing this. Basically connecting the two fields. We wouldn't gain much, but might be something that that we should look into. Alright. Next tractor. Oh wait, this one only goes 19. Let's get this one. Just to pick up the sprayer. We used this for spraying last time, didn't we? It's got plenty of power. It's just a little smaller. That guy's going to have some fun turning around there. Thank God we don't have to do that this time. Okay, it does spawn a container. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. But you're right. I, I did waste what we left in our uh, equipment last time we returned our lease. So I'll try not to do that again. Arrow, thank you for mentioning that. If anyone has just joined the stream or is watching back on 2G2, make sure to drop a like. It really, really helps out. And it would make my day. It would make my day. That was your fault, 100%. Maybe I was distracted driving, but... That was them, right? Also, I missed the store. <laughs> Jesus, it almost happened again. I can't believe I drove right past the store. I guess that's what I get. Joining the fields is a good idea, less turning around. Uh, and if we hire out workers, yeah, they're, they're actually going to be able to just do that in one fell swoop instead of thinking of them as, as being two separate fields. Never forget when I tried to hook up to this in reverse, dude. Embarrassing. We got enough liquid in this. Maybe? 800 liters? We'll see. True, you, br you, you bring up a good point. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe either to the main channel or to 2G2. Maybe you're just a VOD viewer and that's fine. You'd probably like 2G2 better. <gasps> okay, Chris says they totally ran into you. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at chat at the time, so I wasn't sure. But I, I'll take your word for it. Oh, there's our neighbor. Hey! Um... He just went back inside. He's like, I know this guy's going to bring up the fence. <laughs> I know this guy's going to try to talk to me about my fence. Unreal. Straight up, just turned right the heck around. Wait, you're not done at all. What... This AI driver smoking crack, dude. Oh 
Hold the phone. We gotta fix this. There we go. And like, what is this at the end of the field? Oh, there's our neighbor again. Hey, how's it going? Just liming, just limoning. You know the deal. Cool. All right, that's sorted. On to the next. I'm gonna try to trust another employee, but it's probably... They don't even wanna be hired for this. I'll do it myself then. Unbelievable. Okay, maybe now. Yeah, we just had to get her get her rolling first. And this we're not gonna be able to use until we've actually got it ripped with the cultivator. Uh, Philippine Mapping said, Hi, I love your planet vids. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoy them. Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster, Planet of the Apes. You name it. I've done it. <laughs> uh, they also said that they watched when I had just 25,000 subs. We're almost at 50k now, guys. Isn't that just bonkers? Like, is that not crazy to you as well? I know a lot of you have been watching for a really long time. Got good growth. Got good growth here. Hopefully he'll actually do the edge this time. <laughs> Don't forget us when you hit a million subscribers. It's not it's not gonna happen. But the thing of that is, like, you gotta stick around. It's easy for me to forget when you're not here. So long as you're still sticking around and we're all having a good time together, it's gonna be way more difficult for me to forget. Even though my memory is shot. I will admit. My summer car is a classic. No, it's not, Timmy. There are other games. There are other games. Matthew just said that they started watching the House Flipper Luxury series. I do recall. I do recall said series. All right, let's hire this out so we can move this dude to our next field. Panopolis says that people will still be playing My Summer Car in the year 2077, and you're probably right. But I... Do I just need to keep doing PSAs, like letting you guys know that there are other games that are better out there? Is that what I need to do? I, I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to be the voice of reason. But you gotta listen. <laughs> Timmy said my summer car is good and relaxing. I don't know what game you're playing, dude. But it ain't my summer car. Arrow, what did you say? I, there's a emoji in the way. There we go. I can see the character from the coin game. 
intros doing the uh, there are other games PSAs. Which wait, which character? Oh, you mean Millie Bays? Classic. That is a classic. Terry Gilbert said, play more food truck simulator. I, I kind of finished that game already, though, to be honest. Like, it's done. It's dusted. There's nothing, there's nothing else for me to do there. Play games for as long as I can, chat. Once they start to get stale, content starts to get stale, and it's time to jump ship. On to the next. That's not how everyone runs their channels, but that's how I run. That's how I run this one. Is this the this is the seventy eight ten? Is that the more powerful of the two tractors? Yeah, it is. Or wait, we can't even plant yet. It's July. Where we we were gonna do uh, we were gonna do I'm just turning all sorts of southern now, brother. Uh, we were gonna do oilseed radish, right? Let's see if that's gonna be a crop type. Yes, I believe it is this one. Play more my garage, please. Same thing. There's no content there. I've done everything. Everything. Literally. Maybe not everything you would like to see, but everything I would like to do is done. Not available for oilseed radish. Okay, but it doesn't matter though, probably, right? This we can do after we plant. I'm just trying to figure out my next steps here. Am I going to play DDS2? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. It, um, it did bad things to the channel, playing the first DDS. The algorithm punished me a lot. Yeah, the channel killer, dude. It was so bad. I remember I was like, this is it. It's, I mean, it's Jover. After, after this point... I didn't think I didn't think the channel would ever recover after that. It was like you've done all this great stuff that's family friendly. And then I started playing a game called Drug Dealer Simulator and it was like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this?" Yeah, it didn't like it. Needless to say, it didn't like it. I tried to finish the series out to the best of my abilities, but no more. Never again. I don't know how people are... I mean, they probably have a huge, huge following. But I don't know how people are able to actually play that game. And monetize their content, for crying out loud. Like, there's there's just no way. They, the, the game revolves around drugs and drug use. Patreon supported, probably. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. That's not a rabbit hole I want to go down, though. Yeah, no no problems with playing a violent game, any game with guns. Well, there are some like, on occasion, but it's definitely not going to, like, flag your whole channel. That's that's what happened to this channel. It, it was straight up flagged as not, not safe for anyone. Views were down, revenues were down. It was, dude, it was bad. It was so bad. Yeah, violence, totally okay. Drug content, nah. Even, even a video game, you know. Can't, can't be having that. I, I also thought that that was silly, but I don't make the rules. I'm just supposed to follow them, you know. 
So, apologies to anyone that wants to see DDS2. It's, it's not happening. But I'm sure there are other content creators that are making content on it, so... If you, if you really gotta see someone play it, there's your answer. But it's not gonna be from your boy. I swear I keep hearing a helicopter, but I know it's just the tractor now. And DDS was a fun game to a certain degree, but I was really surprised with all the people who claim they actually do do that stuff IRL coming into the comments being like this dude's such a star 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 blah 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 he's never done a drug in his life like saying that about me I'm like yeah no duh dude <laughs> I don't know I just thought I just thought that that was super weird and I was I was ready to yeah I was ready to be done with that the comment section was just riddled with people claiming to be crack addicts and drug dealers IRL. It was weird. It was too weird for me. <laughs> Tucci might have to resort to violence to solve the fence issue. Let's hope it doesn't come to that, right? But even if, like you guys saw on the map, even if I buy his lot, his property, there's still the gray area being the fence. I don't think we can actually get rid of it. We'd have to, like, shorten our field, if anything. Philippine Mapping said, I loved your Planet Zoo vids, but I don't get why you don't like placing plants. I don't really enjoy landscape. Uh, furthermore, it's very hard to make content when you're just placing plants and rocks and things. Like, what do you say? What do you say? I'm going to place my 54th rock right here uh, for this reason. And, like, it's 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 not good. It's not, It didn't make for good content. That's why I really didn't like it. But I also don't really like landscape because I don't really know anything about it. You know, I don't know why you would need to put a lily next to a certain type of bush because of X, Y, Z, and it just... You know? I complain a lot, don't I, chat? <laughs> You're just asking questions and I'm answering. I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to complain. I think he got burnt out placing plants in the waiting area for Planet Coaster. That is also true. Yeah, same same reason for not liking to place plants in Planet Coaster. It's just not... It, it didn't make for good content. There's only so many things you can say about placing a certain type of bush or rock or tree, you know? Oh, hang on, chat. Oxana's calling. Give me one... Give me one moment. And she hung up. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'll text her. Write meow. How about that? See what the deal is. My wife. Shoot her a little text. See what she what she got going on. My wife. Okay, oil seed radish. It's going down. It is going down. Two 
too hard to call out every angle, degree change, and still landscape sufficiently. That's true. That is true. That's another thing I didn't really love. And then you got all the actual, like, coaster heads coming in the comments, too, being like, you really ought to bank your coasters more. This dude doesn't know anything about coaster design. It's like, obviously, I, I'm playing a video game. I don't know why, but they just assumed that I was some sort of park architect IRL and that I should know exactly what it is I'm meant to be doing. And that just isn't the case. That drove me nuts, too. <laughs> Heinrich, what on earth is he on about? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Sorry, chat. Sorry. I'm fighting ghosts over here. <laughs> yeah, people t that's a people talk moment right there for sure. That is, yeah, you, you just saw me at my most wound up. That's as, that's as intense as it gets. It's, it's crazy, I know. Toji's off his rocker, dude. Jessica, welcome to stream. Said, I love this game. I have it on my Nintendo Switch and I'm obsessed. That's very cool. Uh-oh, we are gonna get into an accident if we're not careful. Go ahead. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right. <laughs> Panopolis said, I don't know. You get more wound up about my summer car. Yeah, that's, that's true. All right. We're going to hire this one out. Now that we've got a, a good pace going. And we're gonna fire this person because we ain't care. Yeah, I, I try not to let the comments or, or chat get me all riled up, but it does happen. It does happen on occasion. Uh, back to what we were talking about at like the very start of the stream, where some people were saying they wanted to, you know, try to get into YouTube, making making content for people. Um, it is very easy to focus too much on the comments, specifically the negative ones. Uh, and furthermore, your mood. Your mood will be everything to you. You will simply not want to record a video if you are in not a great mood. So if you're someone who's kind of moody, not really able to, uh, to stay level-headed all the time, it's going to be rough for you. Just, just being honest. My, uh, my mood now is so much more valuable to me than it was when I had a quote-unquote real job. You just, you always have to be in good spirits, pretty much. And it's weird when you're not. People notice when you're not. I think uh, sometimes people just mention my summer car to trigger you. That is also true. And I'm aware of this. <laughs> but at, at the same time, I will, on occasion, um, play into it solely for content. Am I actually mad? No. Will I pretend to be for the lulls? Sure. Every now and then. <laughs> tracing me the moody mods uh, it's true though I mean you, you just like you need to be in the right state of mind to, to make a video
Oh, was Jessica asking about House Flipper IRL? Yes. Sorry, Jessica. I know Arrow answered, uh, but he's he's right in his response. Hopefully, hopefully next week we'll see. We'll see. I just want to get that dang kitchen done so I can show you guys what its what its final form or near final form is going to look like. And then I'll be able to move on to the office as well. <laughs> Zen Master Tuji, teach us your ways. I would if I could, man. I, I don't know. I, I don't even have an answer to you. Or for you. <laughs> New record for stream. Nah, 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 Timmy. You weren't here back in the old days when we tried to do a 24-hour stream and we only lasted 12 hours. You obviously weren't here for that. That's the record. 12-hour stream. I don't know if I can ever do that again, dude. That was so much more rough uh, than I expected. I was like, 24 hours? Easy. Easy. That's no problem at all. Yeah, I ran out of content very fast. Very fast. Like, I was boring myself. I, I'm not even sure how many people watch uh, the streams back then. Uh, but it wasn't it wasn't very many. Jessica, I'm playing FS22 on PC. Rock meow. Mm, have you considered working the field diagonally? I always thought that looked cool. Maybe on the larger ones. On the small ones, I feel like it'd be more work, you know? But it does look cool. I agree with you there. It do be. <laughs> but, but, but efficiency. See, that's the thing. Lauren said, TBH, I think the only reason people ask for more My Summer Car is because you're really good at it, in spite of how maddening it was. Uh, it was you played it as calmly as possible, and watching you play it was a really good time. Well, I'm kind of a calm person, mostly. So that's that checks out. But man, <laughs> man, that game. And I, I owe the series success to the wiki for sure prior to every episode i would do basically a dry run figure out what exactly i was going to do for that recording on that day and i would go over it and over it and over it again try to make sure that it would be as streamlined as possible which is really saying a lot for that game and there were still issues from time to time still oopsies that would happen here and there but I, I'm not kidding like I I prepare pre-prepared each recording of, of both season one and season two more so with season two I think than season one just so that things would go as smoothly as possible for the least amount of headaches and I still do that with most games to a certain degree but it's definitely nowhere near the preparation that I would go through for my summer car. And I think that's another reason why I hate it so much, is that it took so much out of me. And then recording time on that game sucked. Like, you'd have to sit there and record for at least four hours for even just a 30-minute video. It was ridiculous. Farm Sim was the same thing. Which is why it's better streamed. It is definitely better streamed. Too much homework needed. No, for real though. I mean, it's a it's a complex game. There's all these little things that are in place only to torture people. So I worked as hard as I could to stay away from the torture. But I still ended up getting tortured. I tortured myself. You know?
uh, Heinrich said, all right, I'm gonna hit the haystack and remember about the Lamborghini. Word. Hey, sweet dreams, brother. Have a good night. Thanks for joining the stream. Appreciate you being here. Jessica said, I started season one of My Summer Car and I like it, but I liked the other that's similar to My Summer Car. I can't remember the name. Oh, Mamba Zoo, probably. Yeah, it's better. It's easier on the brain. I don't have to do four or five hours worth of homework before I started a four or five hour recording on it. I mean, back then I would only be able to do one recording a day. I couldn't even squeeze in a second one. There was no time. It took too much work. But I'm also glad that the series did and is still doing so well. Because I, I did kind of pour my heart and soul into it for you guys. Matthew also headed to bed. Sweet dreams. Rest up. And uh, have a good night. Nate Smitty, welcome to stream. I don't know if you've just been lurking for a while or if you've been here for a minute. Said I'm on the Mamba Zoo grind right now. It's unreal, man. It is unreal. That oregano ain't gonna grow itself, you know? No cap on a stack. Is our other worker done already? I don't see any motion from that field. Yeah, he is. Okay, so that's all sewn. This needs to be sewn then next. Let's check the map quick. Yeah, yeah. That needs to be sewn. Whoops. This is going to set up pretty... This is going to set us up pretty good, though. Pretty well for the next stream. Where hopefully we're gonna be doing some soybeans instead of this darn canola. All right, she's rolling. Just jump, just ghost ride the whip. It'll cultivate itself. They don't need me. Yeah, we're literally going to be soy boys and gals. Uh, but it'll be worth it. That's our stepping stone on our way to get into that sweet, sweet, delicious Iowa corn, baby. Even though it's not sweet corn. It's it's definitely like feed corn, but you know what I'm saying. Don't eat feed corn. I wouldn't recommend it. It's for animals. Okay, equipment's looking good. I would wash it, but I, I don't really care. To be honest. But we got the power washer now. So we're ready for it. So, oilseed radish. Ooh, pH value is now perfect. Hang on, let's check this guy out. Nitrogen is still low. Are we not... We're not putting nitrogen on the field because the sprayer is over here. And we haven't sprayed. This should add nitrogen, right?
Jessica said, I have kind of a personal question. Is YouTube worth it financially? I don't want to know what you make or anything, but my daughter really wants to start a channel. Uh, she's only 11, so I think she's too young personally. I think that if they have a passion for creating content, I think it's good to start as early as you can, but I do agree, I think 11 is too young. Maybe teenage years might be a better time to start. Just speaking from experience, the internet can be a very, very mean place. Uh, and I, I think that um, when you do start so young, it would be a lot easier for that to kind of get into their head a little bit. Um, but it is very much financially doable. But again, I've been doing this for full time now for nearly four years. So it does take time. You're not gonna find overnight success. At least it's rare to find overnight success. There we go. That's the nitrogen we needed. That's what I'm talking, it's stopped. It completely stopped. It now says crop does not require additional fertilizer. Okay, well, I'm just gonna save all of our uh, liquid fertilizer then for, ooh. that could have been really bad. Um, I'm gonna save all of our liquid for when we actually get some soybeans. Uh, yes, you can monetize your content after you have acquired a thousand subscribers and a little over 4,000 watched hours. The subscribers, I wouldn't say that's easier, but in my experience, it like you, you hit your subscriber mark long before you actually hit the watched hours. People are more likely to subscribe than they are to actually watch all of your content in its entirety. So it is, it is more difficult to get those watched hours up there, but it is possible. It is possible. And from like right out the gate, right after you hit a thousand subs and have 4,000 watched hours, um, it's nickels and dimes to p try to put it into perspective for you, like straight up nickels and dimes. But if you have enough content, uh, that does add up over, over time. It do be, it do be. I would never try to talk somebody out of content creation, but I don't want people to get into content creation for the wrong reasons. Like if you think you're just gonna be able to make a quick buck, it's not the right thing for you because that's not true. Some people might tell you that it's easy and that anyone can do it. And I've even said that before as well. And I do think that that's true, but you have to be in it for the right reasons. You know what I'm saying? It's not a get rich quick scheme. You just, you genuinely have to love content creation to be able to thrive on the platform. I'll leave it at that. Do YouTubers make more money if we watch videos? Well, they don't make any money if you don't watch videos. What do you think of Jeff Fabiano, 2G? I love Jeff. I love Jeff. I love Bugs. I love Ryan, dude. Those, those dudes. Those dudes, they got me through some tough times. For sure. I, uh, I don't really watch them much anymore. I don't really watch any YouTube much anymore. More, more car content, really. Uh, but yeah, love the, love those guys. Love all the stuff that they make. I think it's fantastic. They do a super, super good job. <laughs> <clears throat> no like the ads sorry so the way that the ads work is if you were to click on an ad that might give the creator a little bit more revenue for that because that's a that's an interaction right if you just watch the ad and skip it that's going to be one sum of money um if you watch the ad in its entirety I haven't seen that that makes a difference. So even if you're skipping ads, it, it seems totally fine. 
but it, it would increase the creator's revenue if you were to make a purchase or even just click on an advertisement in the middle at the beginning or, or during a video. I'm not ever going to tell you guys to do that. That is super weird. <laughs> that is super weird. Um, but yeah, I, from my understanding, that is the way that that works. So to put, put to try to like better put it into to try to better put it into perspective for you, it is based off of per thousand views. So if I had an upload that in the first day it did a thousand views, uh, I get paid out a certain amount of money for the ad revenue, and that's that's it. That's the only way that I make money on the platform. I know other people do like channel memberships and stuff, which is cool. Maybe someday. <laughs> I know Arrow's Arrow's been. Uh, Trying to trying to plant a seed in 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 my brain or whatever, whatever that saying is. Maybe, maybe someday I'll do that. But that's kind of the way it works. Per thousand views, you get paid out X amount of dollars. Um, so if you have a video that does really really well, you're probably going to receive more ad revenue for it. If you have a video that maybe doesn't do so well, you're not going to receive as much ad revenue. Um, to <laughs> for years, you have been asking for years. I know. There is a trend to with ad rates. So the amount of money you get per thousand views does fluctuate throughout the year. Q1 is not great. Q2, it gets better. Q3, it gets better. Q4 gets really, really good. And the main reason for that is um, all of the like Black Friday ads that would run during the holidays and, and stuff like that. Hopefully that helps you a little bit. I don't want to get too deep into the nitty-gritty of it, but I, I do hope that I answered your questions. But very doable. Very doable. Difficult to start as a career um, because it takes time to get going. <laughs> Uncle T said, I'm convinced. I'm going to start dropping some content. I love it. I love it. I mean, that's all you have to do is just start. That's it. That's that's all it takes. Jessica, I, well, I really like your videos. I think you're an awesome creator, and I will for sure be watching your videos. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, I hope I answered your questions without getting too too deep into the weeds about everything but uh nikita i was gonna ask do you also watch jeff bugs siv ryan dudes like that you do very cool very cool I have no affiliation with them, obviously, but I, I do I do love their content. I love this style of YouTube vids. Very cool, very cool, very cool. I think Ryan still streams on YouTube. I don't think... No, Jeff does streams occasionally as well. I don't think Bugs has ever streamed. Very cool dudes, though. Jeff does. Is it on YouTube as well or is he a Twitch streamer? I'm gonna rename my channel to 2G and hire a mod named Arrow Drew. I like it. I like it. Oh, he does both. Twitch and YouTube. Okay, very cool. See, I, I'm not at a point where I could even consider streaming on Twitch because the thought of trying to like rebuild an audience or a following on a completely separate platform sounds so scary. It sounds so scary. And I like streaming. I know you guys like watching the streams. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe things will get better on YouTube as far as like emotes and stuff like that go. Yeah, it sounds very scary. 
think about all the time that I've dumped into the, the past four years, all the time I have invested into YouTube as a platform, I would basically have to do that again, but just with live streaming over on Twitch. That is scary. But you gotta start, man. You said it yourself. You're right, you're right. But I don't want to start. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't want to. Going back to what I said earlier, you have to want to do this type of thing. You have to want to make content for people. Can't get into it for the selfish reason of thinking that you're going to make quick buck and yada, yada, yada. Arrow said, I've been watching some Twitch lately, more than usual, and it does seem a lot more hyped, but I still prefer YouTube. Okay. I just want emotes, man. I just want emotes that don't suck and that are easy to enable. Like, is that too much to ask for? It shouldn't be. We need our we need our peepo emotes in here for when I go off a tangent like I have been for the past like hour now. Sorry. Uh, we need the we need the peepo what was it? Peepo talking, peepo yapping, whatever that one is. We need that for moments like this. I can see a few of the better CTV uh, emotes now. Oh, you can? Hang on, I want to try this. Sorry, chat. Uh, we're going to have to go to face cam for just a sec. Un momento, por favor. God, if I can't find my own stream, how do you guys do it? And I got an ad. Who's this guy running pre-rolls? What the heck? And pre -rolls. Weird. What the heck? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Uh, we got chat over here now. Whoa, it actually looks good. Oh, it's because I have truffle though. Right, right. Uh, well, let's try an emote, shall we? Is working, yes? No. No, it's not. Arrow sees it. I mean, that's a start. I can see it on stream. Like if I'm actually watching my stream, which I'm not, I'm in stream labs, uh, which maybe that's my problem. Uncle T said, I do not see it. What is different? Arrow, do you have... Sorry, Chad, I know we're not playing games right now. Um, do you have truffle as well? Because that would explain it. Or do you have uh, better TTV? Better TTV for Firefox browser extension. Okay, that, yeah. See that? That'll do it. That'll do it. All right, sorry, Chuck. Back to late game. Someday, man, someday it'll be all integrated and seamless, and we'll have the emotes that we want to have. Hopefully. I don't know. Or they're, or they're just not even going to do it ever. That's a possibility as well. We have officially hit four hours in the stream. A new record. I'm kidding, of course. We, we have done a 12-hour stream. But this is the longest that we've gone for quite a while now. Um, Oxana was working until 5 today, so I was like, all right, cool. We got a farm stream, so I can actually have it go a little bit long, which is nice. It's been good. 
It has been good. Um, after we get the oil seed radish finished here, I think that's probably going to be a good spot to wind her down. No hands, baby. We just let the worker do all the work for us so we can chit chat and I won't run into things. Dang, Timmy, you staying up, dude. You in it for the long haul. I, I respect that. That means a lot. And on a school night. <laughs> Oh, better CTV fixed me up. Nice. Okay. So we could, we could do emotes then. But then I wouldn't be able to look at my chat in Streamlabs. I would have to, I would have to have the actual stream up on the second monitor. Which I don't know if I love that. But, and then we'd have to get everyone to actually install better CTV in order to actually be able to see all the emotes. And that's a whole another thing entirely. Oops. Could be done. Could be done, but man, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Timmy, you got a two-week break? Oh, you're chilling then, brother. You're chilling. Tuesday, I have a big test tomorrow. I'm kind of nervous. Can you wish me just a teensy bit of luck? The best of yuck. yuck. The best of yuck to you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hopefully that's what you were after. Yeah, no, good luck. Good luck. You're going to do just fine. All right, chat. Now that we're done with our oil seed radish, I do believe that is probably where we're going to have to wind things down at for today. But as always, once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment. I'm stuck here. Help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.